Doomsday here. Today we're back again, and in this video, we're gonna be playing some Wild Rift in the jungle. So, for this match, we're gonna be playing some more Evelyn, and this match turned out to be quite a match, I will say. So, I would for sure stick around for it, but this is a very, very interesting match to go against, actually, or an interesting team comp to go against, just because their team's super tanky. They actually have a Nautilus in the jungle, and Overall, like you can make you can make most things work in the jungle. I think that's something that a lot of people don't really understand is that there are off meta picks, but that doesn't necessarily make them bad picks. As long as you play to the strengths of the champions, like they can still work out pretty well. Like if, if you watched me back when I played Vanguard, I played a lot of like off meta stuff in the top lane, but as long as you still play to like the strengths and conditions, so like for Nautilus, that would just be like farming up, looking for good ganks and engages. And as long as you kind of recognize what your weaknesses are, like in the off meta role kind of, Nautilus should kind of understand, like, 1v1 fights early on in the jungle, etc. Like, they can't do very much in that stage, but... Team fights, objective fights... Big tankiness, that's kind of Nautilus's strength. So now, we're farming up our jungle, still trying to get to level 5. I know, like, even though Nautilus is kind of, like, not the best, I know even if he goes for, like, Scuttle or something, that, um... I could maybe contest that. I'd rather just power farm to level 5 on EVE just because you need level 5 to be able to do anything, but I know I've been posting a lot of EVE on my channel, and that's because I took a decent break from Wild Rift I hadn't played in a while, but um, EVE is one of my favorite champs to rank up on, so that's kind of what I'm using to like climb through all the diamond, and then once I get back into Master and Grandmasters, then we'll probably still play EVE actually, but definitely going to be seeing a lot of other champs. Just EVE is such a fun champ to be able to like hard carry on, so now they're chasing down Julian. That Tristan is going crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that duo lane's up to, but I'm about to get level five once I take this um, scuttle over here, or I'll be almost level five. Once you take all of your camps, you have to kind of wait like five seconds until you get level five. You can see you're just barely short of like level five. So now I'm actually just trying to get level five because then I'll also have my ultimate, so I know I can guarantee this kill. But this Yasuo, go ahead and he goes ahead and dives on in, so. I'm able to at least pick up that kill over there, and now I'm kind of looking at the other lanes. I'm keeping an eye on this bot side matchup over here, and I still have ultimate, so... Can for sure look for a nice play on the bot side over here. And gonna start to head down there. I actually think that the set was about to reset over there, so... That's why I actually just go say I'm gonna go ahead and take the scuttle over here along the way, but... He runs on in, he goes in pretty deep for the Shen. He's able to pick that up, but... I'm over here, it looks like I should be able to get this cleanup over here, and... Thankfully we are. And now I'm just going to take these couple minions that the turret's going to take. Might as well get that gold for myself rather than just losing it to nothing, so. Can grab these couple minions. That's something that I would, like, pay attention to. Is like, if you go for a gank and something like that, and, like, the wave is pushed underneath the turret, kind of like how it is there, like, do just take those minions instead of letting them go to waste, because you can get a lot of gold from that, and it really, really, like, does add up. But if the minions are underneath turret, and, like, it's, like, a cannon minion or, like, a siege minion that's um tanking it, then, like, I probably wouldn't take the wave because then like it won't be lost to the turret because it's like the tanky minion which can like last for a decent amount until the laner gets back to lane but oh they're super low over here the shen looks like he ulted up top side but oh that lucian's one hp but now i'm on the way back mid i know this um yes well i know he doesn't have flash because he burned flash when i ganked him the first time so that's actually why i'm looking for another gank here because i know he doesn't have flash and we're able to get a good route, and I'm able to follow up with that. I'm not worried about him flashing away, so I don't even burn ult or anything. I still have my ultimate. I haven't used my ultimate a single time, but it's nice to keep it handy as much as you can, just because um, it's a very good escape tool in the early game, and like you don't want to burn it if you don't have to, just because the cooldown is a little bit long. It's almost like a two-minute cooldown in the early game, which is a very, very long time. But now I see this Blitzcrank going in over here. I'm pinging in that I want to go in. Because, I, again, I do still have my ultimate, so... Able to charm the Lucian over here and pick him up. And now, that Nautilus is over here. I don't have the most damage, but I'm trying to do what I can to try and save him. I try and smite him to slow him down, too. And now, able to pick that up. He got the, um, he got the Blitzcrank, but I was at least able to pick up another kill. And now, gonna push this wave in. I see this Nami over here. Thinking maybe if the Tristana engages onto him... Unfortunately, Nami actually had ult back off cooldown, so I just have to ult out of there, unfortunately, and have to burn Flash too, because Yasuo rotated from mid. That was a bit unfortunate, and that was actually a pretty big mistake on my part, and the big reason for that is because look at my items right now. I have not shopped a single time, and I have 4,600 gold. Like, I was definitely pushing it a bit on that gank. I definitely shouldn't have forced that over there, but 
It was a good thought. I think we maybe could have gotten that kill if Nami didn't have ult up and if Tristana engaged too. But that's all good. You learn. You make mistakes and you learn from them. That's pretty much the process of the game. But now I'm heading back over here. Looks like my team wants to fight this. So I'm okay with fighting this because we also have Shen ult. So even though like Shen's not here, I know he can ult here at any second. So right now I'm just poking over here. Able to get the finish onto the Nautilus. And now kind of just kiting back. Trying to start the dragon. I don't have smite for 20 seconds, so like trying to keep an eye out if anybody's gonna go for steal over here, but Shen ults in and able to pick that up. Honestly, that was maybe a bit of a mistake from Shen. He probably didn't have to ult in. He probably should be keeping an eye on Harold, actually, because like if Set's on Harold right now, we would have no idea of that. So I'm actually heading over just because I have no idea if he is or not. So trying to get vision of it. Looks like he's not on it, but now I almost have ultimate back off cooldown. That's something that I would, like, would keep an eye on. That's why I was playing super safe in that engage back there, because I had burned ult back in the Nami over here. So, like, fighting over here without ultimate, very, very risky against, like, high crowd control champs. So, like, against, like, Nami, if you get hit by a bubble or an ultimate, or against Nautilus especially. And I see the, the Lux landed a good root over there, and now that set was hidden away in there. So now this is kind of a weird angle over here. I, I have ultimate to get out at least. And that, that's why I have an ultimate up is so, so key. Like going for this Herald fight over here, like if they were trying to contest it without my ultimate would be like complete disaster. Cause at this stage of the game, whether you're ultimate on Evelyn, you're so, so weak. Like you can see I'm playing, like I know I can't go in. If I go in, I'm just gonna die. So I literally just dip out and I'm, I'm that's why I'm, cause if I use my third ability in, like I'm just gonna get rooted by Nautilus. Set's gonna pull me in and Hopefully I don't do this. I'm just trying to poke some damage down, but they have four of them in mid. I'm waiting for Blitzcrank. Maybe a Blitzcrank can land a pull. He lands a pull, but I actually get knocked out of my third ability and I get bursted down. That was a great Nami bubble, actually. That was a very, very good Nami bubble. You can actually cancel Evelyn out of their third ability if you like time it perfectly, but looks like Lux able to pick up a kill. Oh, that gets blocked off by the Yasuo thing. And now... Getting all the ults in, Shen ults in, got the Lux ult, the Blitz crank ult, and really able to pick up a killer too, but now, oh, this Tristana versus Set, they're going crazy. Oh, that Tristana might go down to Ignite. Ooh, looks like this should be good. But now I'm just going to go back to farming up my jungle. I have my ultimate back off cooldown in 20 seconds, so I'm just going to farm up till I have it again. And then look for a better angle. As you can see, though, as I was saying, like, paying attention to your ultimate cooldown in the early game is so, so key. I see this set over here, but looks like the Lux should be able to get him. Ooh, that set almost just like one burst at that <laughs> Lux. So now the Shen's getting rotated on, but I'm just going to go ahead and head down to this bot side over here because I have my entire jungle up and I know that they're ganking Shen. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on that. Or actually, no, I choose to I actually choose to just Herald mid. Yeah, that, that's a bit unfortunate. That was probably a bit of a misplay on my part, actually. Um, Maybe a bit too overzealous for that mid turret. I honestly thought that they were all like gonna rotate top and bot side, so I thought I'd have a free mid lane, but turns out they were all mid. And as you can see, they're just if you get hit by a crowd control once on Evelyn, that could just completely screw you over. Like I got hit by the um Nautilus ultimate and then rooted by Nautilus and then hit by Nami, Yasuo ult. Pretty much any anything that could have gone wrong went wrong. But Mr. Stan is trying to get away, but looks like they're gonna go down over here. And now I'm just gonna go back to farming up my jungle. I really need my third item. Once I get my, um, once I get my, what's it called? My third item. <laughs> that once I get my infinity orb for my third item and then my, um, oh, that's a great pull by. And actually, I'm actually keeping an eye out for this. Getting the charm. I get exhausted actually, but I'm still able to get the ult off and able to pick up the kill. Yeah, but once you get your Infinity Orb, like, your third item, and then your Void Staff, like, fourth item, your damage output be becomes um, absolutely, like, insane on Evelyn. But I've been doing a better job with the consistency, and over here, like, I'm just being a bit careful, like, going in, going in for burst, and then dipping out, because, again, I don't have ultimate, so, like, you can see if I make, like, one small misstep, and I get, like, rooted or pulled by Set or Nautilus or Nami, I'm gonna be in for, like, instant deletion is what's gonna happen. So now I'm just trying to land some charms. I'm not getting too close because I know like Set can pull you in, so. And I got in too close. <laughs> exactly what I was saying I shouldn't do. Because again, without ultimate, you just have to be super careful on Eve. You just really have to learn like when you should be looking for fights, when you can go in on Eve and not. And like, 
And after that, I realized, like, you know, like, I really can't do anything without my ultimate or without some more items. So I just go back to farming over here. Should be able to get a good shop in after this, but I've been doing much better with the consistency. I know it's been a lot of, like, Eve, Jin Zhao gameplay, etc. But as I was saying, I'm just trying to climb back up as fast as I can back to Grandmaster and then... I can diversify it up for you, but Eve is the champ that I like to play a lot. Eve, if I want to play, like, hard carry damage, and then Jin, if I want to play, like, tanky, you need some frontline, if I want to climb up super fast, just because they're probably just, like, the easiest champs to carry on that I'm, like, best at, I think. Eve is just so, so strong, just because you can... One thing about Eve is, like, Eve scales pretty well into the late game, too, so, like... You could do a lot in the late game with Eve. That's why I like, whereas, whereas like a champ like Lee Sin, unless you like play it perfectly in the early game, like in the late game, it is a bit harder to actually like hard carry on. But now, I'm getting some poke damage. You can kind of see, I'm trying to stay away from all the crowd control. You can see me like hiding around back. They're going in way too deep, but I'm just playing around my back line. Able to pick up the set over there. I placed a charm onto the Nautilus, so that's really, really smart of me actually to like place the charm onto the Nautilus. And now I'm just going to keep on kiting back. Dishin got my burst. Able to take down the Nautilus over here. Now I'm trying to get back to Invis. I still have Flash up, so that's a huge root by Lux. And now I'm able to clean both of them up over there with a the nice Flash. And now that's the Pentakill. And now I'm able to pick up the Dragon over here. But notice how much like your damage output ramps up once you get your Infinity Orb. That's why like I emphasize so much getting that Infinity Orb is such a big power spike. And that's why I say like Evelyn scales very, very well. People don't understand, but like your mid game is like very, very slow pace. Like early to mid game, very slow pace, just because you're so ultimate dependent to like be able to dish out damage and to be able to like escape, you need your ultimate. But once you get your um, infinity orb, you can dish out so much damage. Like you don't even need your ultimate for damage. As you can see there, like the damage from Eve is just absolutely absurd. So now I get my void stuff too. So that's going to help against the tanks. And now going to head back to lanes. But as I was saying, Using your charm in teamfights is very, very... It's a very tricky thing to do, but there's a lot of different ways you can use it. So, in this case, pretty much the way that I use it in this case was... We were kiting back the entire teamfight, so you can use your charm as, like, an anti-engage. So, some champs like Darius or, like, Zed or Nautilus, those champs are reliant against engaging. Like, you have to go in to be able to do anything with them. So, like, Zed has to ult in, Nautilus has to engage with their first ability, um, Darius has to run and hook and chase, but now, this is a bit of a weird angle. I'm trying to be a bit careful over here. I land the charm onto Nautilus, but they're unfortunately all here, plus I get exhausted. Unfortunately, that exhaust probably saved the Nami over there, but looks like I might go down, and that was just a bad angle for teamfight, unfortunately. Do go down, but, um... That's all right. But as I was saying, um, using your charm as an anti-engage. So a champ like Set, for instance, like or Nautilus in this case, those champs are always going to be running in, trying to dive onto our backline. So if you throw a charm onto them like early on in a team fight, if they keep on chasing, you could just get the charm on. And I'm sure we're going to see that like more times in this match. But um, if you want to watch back at like that pentacle where I um, where I got the kill onto the where I put the charm onto the Nautilus, I'd for sure look back at that just because. It's, it's very it's a very very key thing to learn how to use your charm right with Evelyn because that's something that a lot of people like do struggle with but that's one way you could use in teamfights over here now I'm running back I'm on the way I placed the charm I think onto whoever's closest I guess or yeah put, I placed onto Nautilus again because look Nautilus always has to be frontline he always has to be engaging so like look at that if you place your charm as an anti-engage it's so so huge you can use it on the back line too to kind of slow him down but really, like, I don't need my charm to kill any of their squishies. Like, see, like, a charm's not going to do anything for me there. I should have ulted earlier for that. Lucian probably, actually, but that's okay. I might be able to... I still have flash up, so... I think, yeah, I just flash and get that. And now, not able to pick up the Nami, but still getting enough over here. Set somewhere around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saw the set over there, but... Able to burst him down, and now looking pretty good we should be able to get this mid turret over here it's just the nami up so don't think they can stop so even though we only have one minion it is a cannon minion, so. that's pretty good now i'm just gonna go back through clear out some of their jungle if i can or no i think i just dip out this time because i'm they're all back and i'm or some of them are back and pretty low um i don't know about baron <laughs> baron's a bit of a questionable move here we're kind of low need to get shopping that's something that a lot of people like forget to do is like after you get like 
teams after after you get like kills on like teams like team wipes and stuff like that you need to go back and shop before you start up your next fight because like i have three thousand gold on me right now so like even though i have a gold lead on them um if i don't shop you really don't translate that gold lead into actual items so it's kind of useless actually that's something a lot of people don't understand and it's similar in lane matchups too where like if you get a kill early on onto somebody and then you don't go back and you don't shop it's almost like you have no gold lead at all because you haven't cashed in that gold for actual items so now i'm just hoping to farm this i'm letting the shen get the last hits now because i have most of my core items like now i just need my teammates to be able to like help me out a bit like i just need one or two other teammates that can help me out so i really don't mind giving them a farm and stuff and over there i get knocked out of my third ability again actually that, that's huge we're like if i get knocked out of my third ability that's so much damage so set's like a little pull thing actually knocked me out of my third ability again so I do need to be more cautious of that. But notice I placed the trauma to Nautilus again. He got pulled this time. You see, he was trying to run away, but able to take him down. And I still have my ultimate up. I'm just running to the side. I'm trying to get my empowered third ability again. I know they don't have turret for a while, so I can actually chase a decent amount. And I know I can one burst pretty much like any of them. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for this Nami over here. Nami starts to walk back and able to pick that up over there. So now... We can look for Baron over here. We got three of them down. It's just the Lucian and the Yasuo left. I have both my smite charges up actually, so I just go ahead and use both smites on this Baron over here. And now it's looking pretty good. Should be able to get this Baron. Overall, as a team, we have been far behind. Like the gold lead is like pretty bad this game actually. Like they've been up in gold by like four to five thousand. This like for so so long. But we're, we're slowly starting to come back. We're slowly starting to make big plays. We're getting the dragons and stuff in our team fight. We're getting good pulls. Like, Lux has been getting some decent roots in lately. Blitzcrank's been getting... They got that pull onto the Nautilus last time. That's super clutch. Unfortunately, they missed the pull there, but... I'm able to take out the... I'm able to at least secure the dragon and then... And in kind of a weird spot over here. I actually see that their backline's back over here, so I actually, like, wrap around for the backline. I kind of just leave my teammates to get the Nautilus, but... Able to get the Lucian over there and just look at that damage completely nasty. But um, if y'all are enjoying this content, again, as I was saying, I'm going to be more consistent for sure now for a while. So make sure to keep an eye on this channel if you want to see more gameplay. Comment down below. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe, like, and subscribe because it is very, very hard to... Um, oh my gosh, just, that damage is nasty, but free and hip, I guess. Um, it is very, very hard to like get back into like YouTube and especially like I went taking a big break. So... Any support is appreciated, and you guys can for sure be always looking for more content on the channel, as I will be posting quite consistently for the next while at least. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll get to Grandmaster in the next couple days again. That's the goal, but that's going to be it. I'll see y'all in the next match.